everyone, welcome back to another video, a really special one coming up here. We've got uh, Hamish Brayshaw with me here, who is the captain of the uh, West Coast Eagles waffle side and also a member of the One Kick, One Behind Club and the 100% win at <laughs> AFL level club. Absolutely. He likes to tell lots of people. Um, and we're going to do a couple of blind AFL challenges today. is an obstacle course. Hamish will have to navigate between the AFL post, then find the cricket ball and throw it towards me, then find the AFL ball and shoot towards goal. All right. All right. Yep, so, eyes closed, I'm good. So we're gonna do on communication, so. Sure. Um, you, want, you want steps or meters? Uh, steps will do, I think. Or rough, uh, meters, will, uh, meters will be fine, I'll gauge it. Righto. Okay, so come forward about eight meters. All right. Take two steps to your left, and come forward again, about six metres, you're coming, you're coming, you're coming, you're coming, a little bit further, a bit quicker, and stop there, go to your right two metres, and stop, and you can come forward towards me, and you can pull up. Yep. Oi. Oh! Didn't feel good. Certainly felt left. Yeah, a little bit left. A little bit left. I reckon that's the hardest. Yep. Well, I, yep. The most important thing about all blind sports is communication. Yep. Especially like cricket, which is mine for the main one. Yeah. We, the keeper, is like the most important person on the field because of that. Yeah. Uh, Alrighty. You responded well though. <laughs> Depth perception is pretty tough for me. Like I can sort of move my head around and, and see the footy, but just gauging when it's coming to me and the depth perception of it is that's that's what I'm finding pretty difficult. I think that was a bit too easy for you. Yep. Step it up a little bit. Okay. I can see. I've got a blurry outline of things, but that's it. Okay. Geez, all right, this will be tough. Yep. Oh. Yeah. I can just sort of pick it up as it gets closer. Oh, clean too. Take that. Oh. Um, I think it's probably harder. I can't, I can see you and then I don't sort of pick the ball up until it's just there. Yep. Oh, gee whiz. Yep. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> yep. Oh, clean gravel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. 
Oh. Very difficult. Ready? Yep. Oh. Nah. I got no idea with this. You move them good though. I can I can hear it and but they just Ready? Yep. Oh hit the thumb, I was there. <laughs> Beautiful. Yep, ready? Go for it, Brad. Uh, I did. I'm, I'm. I'm not really like. I'm just sort of. I'm not. I'm just sort of banking on the fact that I know how to turn. Like I'm not really worried about where it's going because this is. I'm pretty confident in the ground, so I'm not really worried about turning as such. But yeah, yeah, yeah. To be able to know where that is, like I'm. I, like instead of having to look all over, I can just hear that and focus in pretty quickly on that. All right. Yep. Oh, beautiful. I'm finding with these ones that I've got to look at where I'm dropping the ball a bit more. Because when I was, when I had closed my eyes that first one when I kicked, the ball drop, like I just naturally, I have to look at it now that I've got these on, because I know naturally when I'm looking, I can sort of peripherally glance down and know where the ball's going. But with these, I've really got to focus on looking down at where, my, where I'm dropping it. So that's... Well, I don't look it onto the boot, but I think when with, with just my normal eyes, like I'm, I'm here and I know that it's, I can see the peripheral of where the ball's going, so I can just sort of drop that down. But as soon as you take these off, I can't, like I, I've got to actually look because if I'm here, I know that I'm dropping it in generally the right spot, but yeah. that first one with my eyes closed, I sort of it just drifted like that. So I sort of, even though I've been doing it for a while, like this really makes you think about where you're putting the ball on your shoe. Otherwise it's all over the place. I didn't think about that. Oh, that looked good! Come on! <laughs> oh, I bellied it! No! Oh, it's good bouncing! Go! Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't know how. You've got lucky. Though. Oh, yeah! You meant every part of it. How about sure. that? Yeah. Uh, thanks, Hamish, for doing that. What was your, your hardest part and favourite part of it? I think for me the hardest part was the blurry goggles, the, the middle ones that I tried. I could not really, like the depth of perception was tough, I couldn't figure the ball where the ball out was until it was uh, pretty close and then when I turned to kick a goal, really needed the rattle of the ball to sort of direct me. Um, but my favourite part was that last bounce from God that I got there that uh, <laughs> bellied the snap and it then happened to bounce in. So, no, I really enjoyed that, that was great fun, thanks for having me Brad. Right, thanks sir, He's, uh, actually... Beautiful, thank you very much, cheers, good stuff. Thanks for watching everyone, please uh, give a subscribe and a like and we'll see you next time. Beautiful! Cool.